Hi viewers, I hope everyone is fine. I'm here to take you to integrated science and for today we are going to discuss about digestive system. Okay, so if someone may ask what is digestion? Digestion comes from the word digestion. So what is digestion? So when we talk about digestion, digestion is the process whereby living things break down complex food substance into simpler forms for easy absorption. So let me put it on the board. Okay, so digestion is the process whereby living organisms break down complex food substance into simpler forms to be absorbed by the body. So there are two terminologies which comes under digestion. We are going to take a brief description or discussion about them. We have digestion and ingestion. So when you talk about ingestion, ingestion is the process of putting food in your mouth. And ingestion, ingestion is the process of removing undigested food substances from the body. And ingestion is closely related to excretion. Okay, so let's come to our main part, digestive system. Okay, so according to the level of organization of living organisms, we have four categories. We have cell, tissue, organs, and system. So when you talk about a cell, a cell is the basic unit of life. And when you talk about tissue, tissue is a group of cells which comes together to perform the same function. And when you talk about an organ, organ is a group of similar tissues which come together to perform the same function. So with a system, system is what a group of organs which comes together to perform the same function. So when someone asks you to define digestive system, then you give it to him. Digestive system is a group of organs which comes together to perform or to digest food. I repeat again, digestive system is a group of organs which comes together to digest food. Okay. So for our basic level, we are going to discuss about only seven parts of the digestive system. And we have the mouth, we have the esophagus, stomach, small intestines, large intestines, rectum, and then anus. We are going to take a brief discussion about each of the parts. So let's start with the mouth. As we all know, digestion begins from the mouth. And with the mouth, the mouth is having four parts. So the mouth consists of the of the lips. You have the lips, you have the teeth, 
we have the tank and the last one we have salivary gland so these are the four constituencies of the map we have the lips teeth tank and salivary glands so before digestion begins the food is masticated in the mouth and then it is mixed with saliva and the saliva is also produced from the salivary glands so this gland produces saliva okay so and the saliva the saliva softens food which makes it easy for swallowing the saliva okay so there's another function of the saliva and this is it the saliva breaks down starch or carbohydrate into simple sugar i repeat again the saliva breaks down starch which contains carbohydrate into simple sugar so the moment the starch is mixed the moment the saliva is mixed with the food then starch digestion begins so always have it in mind that starch digestion begins at the mouth Okay. Starch, which contains carbohydrates into simple sugar, and also the saliva softens food, and the tank also helps easy swallowing of the food it helps to mix the, uh, the food with saliva so that it can be swallowed easily so from the mouth we move on to the osophagus so this is the osophagus and then another name given to osophagus is gallet so that is gallet so the osophagus can also be called gallet so the the esophagus is serving as a linkage between the mouth and the stomach so food passes from the mouth to the stomach through the esophagus so before food can enter the stomach you need to pass through the esophagus rather than that it can't happen okay so from the stomach from the esophagus move to the stomach so food enters the stomach from the mouth to the esophagus and then to the stomach so when food enters the stomach it stays there for three good hours when food enters the stomach it stays there for three good hours so during that time digestion is more active and the stomach produces some digestive juice, juices which is called gastric juice and this gastric juice break down protein into other simple substances So release since the gastric juice bring down protein into other substances, protein digestion begins at the stomach and start digesting ends. So that's it. So from the stomach, the food then enters the large intestine. And have it in mind that the large intestine is the largest part of the digestive system. And as you all know, the large intestine, the, the small intestine, the small intestines connect the stomach to the large intestines. So also, the small intestines is serving as a linkage between the stomach and the large intestines. So before food can enter the 
large intestine. You need to pass through the stomach to the small intestines and last at the large intestine. Okay. So digestion is completed in the small intestines. That's where digestion ends. And when digestion is completed there, then the digested food substances pass into the blood through the walls of the small intestines, which will be sent to the various parts of the body and stimulate growth of the body. Okay. So from the small intestines, then undigested food substances will come to the large intestines. Some portions of the food we eat cannot be digested. So those undigested portions of the food will come to the large intestines. So that's where the undigested food substances are kept. And the undigested food substances, they are grouped into two. We have the liquid part and the solid part. So at the large intestines, water is absorbed. That's the liquid part. Water is absorbed from the large intestine. And the solid part will enter the rectum. So, these are the sequences. The food will start from the mouth, then enter the esophagus, then to the stomach, then to the small intestines, then it comes to the large intestines. So, the solid part of the undigested food substance enters the rectum. So, this is the rectum. And the rectum stores the undigested food substance. That's the solid part of the undigested food substance for temporal basis. So the temporal storage area for undigested food substance. That's the function of the rectum. It stores undigested food substance, which is feces, temporal. It will stay there for a short period of time. After that, then the undigested food substance comes out from the anus as feces. So that's the function of the anus. The anus brings out feces or undigested food substances. Thank you. We'll meet next time. Goodbye.